Hi, I'm Mike Kelly, and you're watching CEO Live TV. In this episode, we're joined again by Mr. Scott Poulter, who is heading up business development internationally for Pacific Green Technologies, ticker PGTK. PGTK has developed a patented portfolio of emissions control technologies for use in both power plant and marine applications. They have a veteran management team and a global footprint with offices in US, Europe, and China, and they're rolling out one of the most competitive technologies to date to help large ships with Category 3 diesel engines control emissions and meet increasingly strict environmental regulations. Good morning, Scott. Welcome back. Morning, Mike. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. So today we wanted to update investors on the retrofit of the first Envy Marine system on Union Maritime Limited's chemical tanker, the Westminster. What can you tell us about progress to date and what happens after the retrofit is complete? Uh, so we're currently in the process right now of finalizing the uh, installation of the system onto the Westminster. That's taking place in a shipyard in Turkey. Um, we anticipate that probably the end of next week that uh, installation will be completed and then the ship will go um, leave, leave the port or leave the yard and um, go out for sea trial, uh, whereby basically the system will be operational that will be reviewed by the class administrators, uh, a company called ABS. So they will have their own surveyors on board. And after that has performed, then they then hand the, then the system is then handed over to the client, Union Maritime Limited. And so the Envy Marine technology is based on the same platform as Envy Clean, which is part of a joint venture with Power China, which has already been installed on a power plant in China. And you announced this uh, several months ago that it was exceeding expectations in terms of how well it was performing with regards to reducing emissions. So I can expect the same kind of results with uh, the Envy Marine system for ships. So once that uh, test is complete and demand picks up and, and new orders start flooding in, how is PGTK set to handle the fabrication of these systems? So over the last, it's a good question, Mike. Over the last uh, six months, we, um, part and parcel of the, the process of doing the, the system for Yang Chan and also the system for Westminster is that we've been setting up and uh, identifying the procedures and the processes for us to work with Power China. They will be looking to do the majority of the fabrication. Mm -hmm. So in terms of scaling up and the resource and capacity, um, they have plenty of capacity available to them. Um, we're currently identifying some locations that are most suitable for the marine sector. So there are marine suppliers in those regions and areas in China so that it uh, will match together much better with our needs. And so Power China will then um, look to create a, a unique or bespoke facility for producing our systems in those areas. And what we're seeing is the procedures that we've gone through um, are pretty much identical between the two products, whether it be land-based or whether it be marine-based, until they leave the factory. And then at that point in time, one is installed um, obviously on a ship, um, and that's done in a very confined period of time where there's a, a lot of resource put in it in terms of personnel because we're working at a time where the ship is actually now in port so it's not earning any money for the owner mm -hmm. so as a consequence time is a premium whereas in the land base the, the systems are a little bit more uh, elongated I think in the retro effect business some of the same parameters we see um, of as you know getting it done as quickly as possible is in place but in the new builds we are running a process in line with other elements of it. And Scott, uh, last question. Can you give us an idea of approximately uh, how many potential ships are uh, in need of Envy Clean systems to meet these new and stricter environmental regulations that are rolling out between now and 2020? Well, it's considered there are about 60,000 ships that are on international borders with international flags. So that excludes those that are in the uh, People's Republic of China which is a whole different exercise but it is forecast that you know between those that will um, move or make a transition to LNG and some of those that will look at other um, kinds of uh, aspects to deal with the sulfur issue that the uh, the market is anywhere between five and seven thousand ships over the next 36 months obviously as there's only a very small amount of players in this market um, the, the previous question you asked actually about capacity and scaling up has been a, a key component to most of the discussions that we're having with the various ship owners, which is, are we able to have the, the capability to grow quite quickly? 
Um, and once they see the scale and capacity that PGT has in its partnership with Power China, they recognize one of the benefits, even though we're a very small company compared to you know, the, the need of the market and the growth of the market, that we have that cap- capability to grow that quickly. And Scott, thanks. That's all the questions for today. Anything else uh, investors should know right now about PGTK? No, as you say, Mike, I think, you know, we're in a, we're in a very good transitional period right now. You know, Westminster's um, obviously very key focus for the team. Um, and so, you know, right now, over the next month or two, we will start to see um, the su- announcement of the success of the, um, the performance. And obviously, with that, um, orders that are coming from the, the discussions we're having. Well, Scott, thanks again. Pleasure having you as always. Thanks for taking the time to be on the show. And uh, I hear you're headed down to uh, Turkey to check on operations there uh, directly. So uh, have a safe trip and we hope to catch up with you again soon. That's right. Thank you very much, Mike. Look forward to speaking to you soon as well. Thank you. You've been, bye. You've been watching CEO Live TV. And again, we've been talking to Mr. Scott Poulter, head of business development of Pacific Green Technologies, ticker PGTK. Pacific Green is focused on addressing the world's need for cleaner and more sustainable energy. The company's strategy is to build through organic development and acquisition a portfolio of patented, competitive, cutting-edge technologies designed to meet increasingly stringent environmental standards. To learn more about them, please visit their website at www.pacificgreentechnologies.com. Thanks for watching CEO Live TV.